Okay, we have here today an interesting sum. This one's from Berkeley Math Tournament 2022, number five. We have the sum from n equals zero to infinity of square root n squared plus three n plus two minus square root n squared plus n minus one. To get started with it, I did this a couple ways on paper. Really, they're really the same way though. You could kind of just expand it out and see where you can get simplification. But I want to do it a little more formally, writing it out as a limit just dealing with the infinity here. So what we can do is create some other variable like, let's use k. So we'll say, we'll take the limit as k is approaching infinity. And then it's really gonna be the same thing, but now we'll write our sum as going from zero to k. And so since we're just adding and subtracting, I can break this up into three separate sums. I'm gonna drop the notation for a second just to save some writing, I think, but we'll bring it back in a moment. So we're just gonna have three different sums written out. And now what we can do here is just some factoring. We can clearly factor this one and this one. This one's really simple. This is the same thing as n times n plus one. And then this one here, this is gonna be n plus two times n plus one, I think. And so then let's just rewrite these two sums factored now so we can look at it that way. But now with it factored, what we can notice is this, these are basically the same thing. They're just off by a factor of one. All I need to do here is an index change. If we subtract one on the end terms, I just need to subtract one here and here. That way this is gonna become n plus one times n now. I just kind of changed the order, but this is the same thing as this. In order so we don't change it, I need to add one on the index here. But we also can't forget that we need to add one up here as well. But then one other thing you might notice on here, the n equals zero term doesn't actually do anything. I guess like doing the index on the bottom didn't really matter there, but we're gonna change it anyway because it's all zero. You plug a zero when you get zero. So I can make this one here a one. So then in order to make this sum and this sum completely match, I need to break off this plus one term. That's the only difference now when we rewrite it. This, the inside's identical, the lower bound's identical. So I need to break off this k plus one term. To do that, all I need to do, let's add another term on the end and just evaluate at k plus one. So doing that here, we'll write it like this, and then this is gonna become, and I should clarify, this has been rewritten. So let me put it the way we have it over here. So now plugging our k plus one into this, this becomes k plus two times k plus one, all inside the radical. But now that we have these two sums identical, I can just cancel this one and this one here. This thing we can just evaluate because we're just doing a constant and it's just one. So this is the same thing as really just multiplying by K plus this other term, because the definition is like, if you're starting, if you're going from one to K of one, that's just gonna be K, but we get one more for the zero. So this becomes K plus one. And then just cleaning this up, what we're left with is gonna be the limit as K is approaching infinity. Reorder it, we'll do the square root first. So we'll have square root K plus two, times k plus one. And then here, this thing is just this k plus one, so we have minus k plus one. And then from here, you might wanna just try to evaluate this on site. The only problem is like the highest degree term, when you multiply it out, you're gonna have k squared inside the square root. It's gonna be like a k, and it's not entirely clear what happens if the highest degree terms are gone. So what we can do is rationalize this, just taking the conjugate. So I'll multiply in by this thing. Now when we multiply this all out, now we get like a difference of two squares. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna drop the square root in the numerator. So we're gonna have k plus two times k plus one. And then we're gonna get a minus k plus one squared all over the same denominator. And as you can see, I'm totally out of space. So let's finish this up on the next board. Okay, now from here, we have something in common. We've got k plus one in both cases, so I can factor that out in the numerator. So we'll do k plus one in front here, but then here, I'll write it out. So we have what's left is gonna be k plus two minus k plus one, but then the k's are gonna cancel and two minus one is just one. So this whole piece right here is just a one over the same denominator. But this limit here is one we can do. You could probably do it by sight, but let's kind of do it just to be clear. I'll multiply them by one, multiply them by one over k, one over k. 
So when we distribute this all in one over K times K is one plus one over K. Um, when you distribute this, then when you distribute it into the square root, inside the square root, it's gonna be like one over K squared. So I can distribute a one over K into each term. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna be one plus two over K times, then on the next part, this is gonna become same kind of thing, one plus one over K. And then on our k plus one, that's the same thing as like this. It's gonna become just one plus one over k. But then with k going to infinity, all these terms with k's in the denominator are going to zero, zero, forgot a parenthesis, zero. So what we're left with here in the numerator is gonna be just a one. This here evaluates to one times one, square root of one times one is one, plus this, we have a one left. So putting it together, for my final solution on this, we just get one over two, and that's it. Okay, so there you go, interesting sum. I probably should have mentioned at some point when we did that cancellation about five minutes ago, that just shows you that it's telescoping. So the other way you could do it is writing out terms. You kind of write out terms, you get the same cancellation of a whole bunch of stuff. Doing it this way, we're just able to do it like all in one step without writing out the terms, same thing. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.